as is often the way with my little live videos, I'm not using my selfie stick. So I'm going to keep it short because else my, uh, my arm starts to ache from holding the phone. <laughs> um, so th this is just a very, very quick video. I was just listening there to uh, part of the film score from the movie V for Vendetta, sorry, V for Vendetta. And uh, this movie has its flaws, but actually there are some great scenes, some really good characters in it. And there are two scenes in particular that I love. One is the bit where V, the main character, uh, when he steps out of the burning building, his arms are loft, he's changed uh, as, a, as a character, as a human being. And the same thing happens to Evie. And this is a female character in the movie in which she undergoes a transformation. She goes from being a uh, scared or, or person in fear uh, that hasn't changed her life to somebody that has this incredible transformation. Um, now, the transformation, unfortunately for her, uh, occurs from a period, I suppose you would call it torture, really, uh, of captivity. And V, the main character, puts her through this in order for her character to change. And she has her head shaven, much like mine. And when she rises to the top of V's building, she's released, she's let go. And she has this realization, this realization where she knows that she's changed. She's awakened. And the only reason I'm telling you this is that, number one, to a certain extent, I think my wake up call two and a half years ago was exactly that. You know, I, I awoken, awoken? <laughs> I awoke <laughs> from my reverie. I changed my state, my condition, I, and my life changed uh, pretty much uh, for the better. But what I wanted to really just say on this message was if you wake and you're not feeling together, if you're not quite feeling all there, you're not quite feeling positive, film scores are an amazing way to immediately change your mood. If you don't, I would imagine most of you do this. And I guess to a certain extent, you need to be a lover of movies to really get the emotions and to, to, to get the benefits of a film score. But for me, just listening there to a track called Evie Reborn from the movie V for Vendetta elicits the, the memories, the, you know, the templates that have been created in my brain from watching that movie a few times. And I, all I have to do is listen to that track and I'm immediately transported back to that movie and I can see Evie step out of the building into the rain, hair shaven, arms aloft. And she has this amazing, trans you know, she's gone through this amazing transformation. And the same can be said whenever I listen to uh, the soundtrack for Blade Runner, the soundtrack for Interstellar, uh, the soundtrack, the end actually, the end soundtrack um, by Moby to the movie Heat. Such an amazing, beautiful ending to that movie where uh, you've got Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, uh, and they both hold each other's hold each other's hands when Robert De Niro's char character is about to die, and you've got Moby's music uh, filtering in, into the background. It's it's amazing. So whenever I listen to these short excerpts of a film track, I'm immediately transported back to the, to the film. So if I wake in the morning and I'm not quite feeling all there, which actually by contrast today, I feel really good. Um, then I do listen to these soundtracks and they, and they change my state, they change my mood. So it's such a really quick tool, isn't it? I'm sure you will do it already. I mean, let's face it, we all listen to music to change our mood. The great thing about listening to a film score is that you've got the music itself but then it triggers a memory and it triggers that visual uh, memory of the movie, which again creates further positive neurochemicals. 
Anyway, a little ramble for you this morning. See you soon. Bye for now.